hunting for the key. Yo, Donkey Kong, stay away from my friend. Um, Raj, don't worry. Your boy's got this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Hey, 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 hey. Not so fast. <laughs> Chase, we were boys. What are you? The name's Mirage. Come on. Give me a little, give me a little, give me a little, give me a little tap. Give me a little tap. There you go. Now we're friends. Oh, great. The gang's here. They're more like you? You brought a human here? I'm nobody. I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. There is a darkness coming. Let them come. For centuries, our kind has stayed hidden on Earth. But darkness has found us again. Prime. This is about the fate of all living things. Unicron is coming. Back up! Oh, I thought we were boys! You want it? Come and get it! You brought a human here? I'm nobody. I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. Think you hold the lane and you haven't met the aim. Stop! Stop! This is not our war. Optimus, we must trust each other to protect the home we all share. How big can this guy be? Uh, he eats planets. So, like, way bigger than a planet. Everything you cared for will be consumed. Maybe there's another way to save our home. You've never faced anything like this. Let them come. When I voiced Prime for the very first time, I was living with my brother Larry, he was a Marine, and I said, I'm going to an audition. I'm going to be a truck. And he started to laugh and he said, he said, a truck? And I said, this is a leader, this is a hero. And his demeanor just changed. He just went, well, Peter, if you're going to be a leader, be strong enough to be gentle. And I got to the audition and I said, my name is Optimus Prime from the planet Cybertron. I had no doubt that this is what a hero should sound like, and I was convinced I was going to get that role. 
This is an emergency. Can you hear me, Mirage? Roll out. Hey, who the hell was that? Peter Cullen gets behind that mic and he goes deep into Optimus Prime mode. You're like, whoa, this is really happening. We have one last hope. Stephen Cappell Jr. really is sensational. He's thoughtful, he's energetic, he's moving. He instills that confidence. Take the wheel. Get it, baby! Every Transformers movie, Optimus Prime and a lead human being are always close. And this is the first time in a film where you see these two characters who are trying to figure things out. You brought a human here. Transformers Rise of the Beasts has the same ingredients that were there at the beginning. There is that integrity, there's a dignity, there's courage. It's an honor to be able to do this character. I've talked with a lot of people that grew up with Transformers and I don't take them for granted. I love you guys. This is Optimus Prime, June 9th. I invite you to the movies. We've seen the Maximals in graphic novels, and we've seen them in the cartoon, but we have never seen them in live action. We took it both to protect the universe. He's a really larger-than-life, likable character. There is more to us than meets the eye. Hair Razor carries this sense of regalness with her, but at the same time, she's a fighter. What I've done, let's get it. Rhinox is a beast. Almost indestructible. Yeah. Stranger danger! Cheeto is the man. My soul, it's a sense of family with the Maximals. Autobots and Maximals. All as one. Maximals! Maximize! This about to be epic. This is about to be crazy. This is about to be epically crazy. In chronological order, this is the second Transformers movie that takes place during the 90s, shortly after Bumblebee. We find a kid struggling with how he's able to provide for his family. My character Noah is ex-military, and I feel like I'm failing at every turn. Then I meet Mirage. Pete Davidson is the voice of Mirage. He's kind of like the rebellious Autobot. You looking good, man? There you go, now we're friends. Elena works at the museum. She's investigating something which brings Noah into her life. Who are you? I'm uh, the janitor. Really? And that kind of opens a whole new world for her. Let's get her out. Oh, okay, let's get We go on this crazy journey with the Autobots. We meet the Maximals. We meet the next level of villains. How big can this guy be? Uh, he eats planets. So, like, way bigger than a planet. There's a lot of action. There's humor. <laughs> Stranger danger! And there's a lot of heart. They're going against their biggest nemesis, Heppard. Everything you cared for will be consumed. They've never based anything like this before. Let them come. 